Hey, good morning, everyone. I want to thank uh, Pastor Bill for sharing yesterday. I thought that was a fantastic word. I love the analogies and how he brought it home with uh, putting our trust and our hope in Christ and giving everything to him. There's a beautiful verse in Romans chapter 8 it says, For in hope we have been saved. Now, I haven't been saved yet in terms of salvation hasn't come. I am not in heaven yet. Uh, you might think it with the view behind me, but it's not even close to heaven. It's Mexico. And I'm here with my whole family. And uh, the verse goes on and says, Hey, uh, for in hope we have been saved, but hope that is seen is not hope. For who hopes in what is already seen? But if we hope for what we do not see, then we patiently and eagerly wait for it. We have been planning this family vacation for over a year uh, with the whole family. It, we feel like it's uh, maybe the last time the whole family is going to be able to get together. And we have baby Amos with us and Caleb and Katie from Florida and Hannah from Hawaii. And it really is a special time. But we've been hoping for it, hoping for it, hoping for it, hoping for it. And it finally came. You know, I learned something about hope. Hope is never lost. No matter how bleak it looks, no matter how bad it looks, hope is never lost. That's the beautiful thing about our trust in God. It's, uh, you know, we, we, we can see so many things and see things that will uh, just come apart on us. At one point in this uh, process of waiting for this trip, all of our reservations got lost. Uh, they got canceled and it was going to be double the money to repurchase the tickets. Um, and usually you talk about a, a heart stopper for us, right? Mom and I, Sandy and I, uh, mom and dad are paying for the trip and just like, oh man, that would be awful. But here's what the Bible says, hope in him. You put your hope in him and it's not lost and we kept hoping we did some work of course but we did what we needed to do and sure enough in our patience now we're we're here and we've waited for it eagerly and it's come upon us i don't know what you're waiting for i don't know what you've been praying for god for in your life maybe it's a vacation maybe it's something uh, way more significant than that maybe it's the uh, uh, freedom from an illness uh, the healing of a loved one maybe your own healing uh, maybe a financial breakthrough that you're looking for but here's the deal hope is never lost you put your hope in Christ. We don't see it until it comes to fruition, but until then, our hope is in Him. So I'm going to pray for you today that you will have that perseverance and that your hope will be strong in the Lord. Father, I thank you, God, that hope comes and fills our heart, fills our life. God, you've uh, given me so many wonderful promises and you've come through so many times. God, I haven't seen my final salvation yet, but I am hoping for it until that day and I'm eagerly waiting for it. And God, for the things that we hope for here on this earth, we pray that we would see them come to pass as well. God, healing and miracles. God, those breakthroughs in our family. God, those things that we're hoping for, Lord, let us see them as we eagerly wait for the promise to be revealed. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, I love you guys. Uh, have a great time there in Soquami. We're enjoying our time here in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. And we'll see you uh, on Wednesday. We've got a guest speaker tomorrow.